Okay, everybody. So let's start by standing and literally grounding. So using the product itself, don't forget to actually put it on. It's, I nearly just looked at it and said grounded and then just use it. Smell it. Oh, it's wonderful. Cedar, very woody, which is perfect when you think about grounding. You know, think about the tree, think about the earth, think about grounding. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. So don't forget to do that first. All right, so feet firmly on the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to place the hands together because this also helps ground the feet. So by gently pressing the palms together, I want you to think about your feet spreading like roots into the earth. And of course, don't forget to breathe. So you're going to breathe very slowly, calmly through the nose. And I want you to imagine your tummy is getting nice and full. And as you exhale, just feel the breath going down towards the feet. Down, down, down towards the soles of the feet, making contact with the floor. And then remind yourself that under the floor is the earth. And as you go deeper into the earth, you meet the core of our planet. And there is warmth and heat. So you're imagining yourself as a tree. The roots down into the earth and beyond. Just release your hands. And just softly bending your knees. I just want you to sway into one foot, into the other. And once you know what you're doing, you can close your eyes. So what we're doing here is reminding ourselves that though we are a tree, for instance, a root, we can also move. So the roots are keeping us steady, but our branches and our leaves can still move. And again, just softening the knees, the shoulders, deep breath in. And reaching up and just closing the hands in the heart center. Okay, set for the day. Let's move on to focus. And we're going to sit down. So focusing, I think we've just focused the body, which is great. And of course, if we focus the body, we will focus the mind. You've left the house, you're off to work, you've arrived wherever that work is. It could be meeting a friend that's needing some extra help, it could be that you actually go to a job. Um, there's so many places that you could be going, but the focus is really important because when we are attentive and we're focused, we're much safer. We're safer in our environment. We're safer mentally. And we're checking on how we're thinking and how we're speaking as well. So our thoughts, our actions and our deeds also become more focused. So don't forget that later on in the day, this will still be there, but it was faded a little bit. So if you decide, you know what, I'm going to go for focus now. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is like, a men almost like a menthol, so it's very clear. Mm, and you can feel your mind and your eyes waking up. So that means that you are here and you're present in that moment. So I'm just gonna put this just here behind my ears, I think. But I'm going to have a good smell of it. Oh, it smells wonderful. So immediately I felt focused. A, because I'd seen the word focus. And B, because I could actually smell the kind of um, almost, you know, eucalyptus -y kind of 
mental but you know what it's like when you have something like mentally your eyes wake up okay so what we need to do now is wherever we're sitting or we're probably going to be sitting now for focusing is just to pop your hands on the ends of your knees and keep the palms open when you keep the palms closed energy stays inside so we're going to open up because we're opening up to the day so we're going to keep the palms open and what we're saying here is my energy is coming out to you but i'm happy to receive it as well so we're focusing on reciprocal energy backwards and forwards and when we're in working in the day wherever we are whether we're with people or in a job we need to let that energy come backwards and forwards okay positive energy obviously be nice which is why we're focusing and grounding first so keeping the art hands open you're going to breathe in right to the base of the spine right to the crown of the head and imagine the breath going out and then drawing the breath back to the belly we're just going to do that a couple of times and then on the third time we're going to breathe to the point here between the eyebrows it's called the third eye or the third eye center but it's also of course your frontal cortex so it's all about making decisions um, reasoning and that's what we want to do during the day so imagine that you're breathing in through the palms of your hands as well so from the base of the spine and through the palms of the hands we're going to inhale once you know what you're doing you can close your eyes inhale top of the head and as you exhale draw that energy back down towards the base of the spine and the belly and breathe in through the palms of the hands base of the spine up through the crown of the head and as you exhale draw that energy back into the body base of the spine palms of the hands and this time we're going to breathe in. I want you to imagine you're gathering energy from everywhere, inhaling, drawing it up towards the third eye, the point between the eyebrows, and just hold there for a second. And as you exhale, allow that energy to come down again, grounding, grounding, out through the palms of the hands. Let's breathe in through the palms of the hands, up through the body, to the third eye just hold there for a moment just retaining the breath and exhale and just let the body relax completely let the shoulders go forward the head the hands and just feel really really soft breathe in close Bringing back to heart center. Nice deep breath. And a nice big sigh. <sighs> okay, good. We're grounded and we're focused. All right, so we need to stay calm through the day. So I'm just going to smell calm now. This is very exciting for me because I'm actually going through this experience with you. Oh, that's lovely. So this is sweet. This is really sweet. So I've gone from woody, earthy to sort of bright to sweet. It's like a meal. Just think about your, you know, your starter, your main. This is your dessert. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is really sweet. So I think that we should go with this. There's lots of smelling of it. And you might want to go back to your wrist or the other way is to put it on the top of the wrist as well. So if you've got lots of smells on you already, you might like to find another area. Okay, so calm. How do we stay calm? The million dollar question. All right, so I'm going to stand up again. We're working through our day. We're dealing with people. We're walking, we're getting on buses, we're getting in the car, we're interacting with people. Remaining calm is watching our thoughts. So if we feel that our calmness is, is being neglected or dissipated in any way, <clears throat> if we're lucky enough to just have a simple tool, which is what these loved things are, they're a simple tool that 
can just help you aid you what a simple thing that we can just have with us in a bag you know in a pocket but just remembering that and going oh I, I need that so I'm just going to take a little bit more of this so I think it's interesting that calm smells sweet so what that says to me is that I need to be a bit sweeter so I'm, I'm not going to get bitter I'm not going to get cross and angry and fiery I'm going to try it and stay s sweet so the movement for this is an open movement so again nice soft knees do this in a toilet somewhere do this privately somewhere you know it's a bit like superwoman isn't it or superman they go into somewhere really private they spin around and they come out as this amazing superhero you can imagine that you're doing that all right so wherever you've decided to be soft knees so if i go from the side you see how my knees are soft be careful that you're doing not doing this be careful that you're not doing that you want to feel grounded so we know how to do that our feet spreading like the roots all right so nice and soft soft arms so we're going to breathe in the breath is the key breathe in open up and exhale breathe in and what you're doing here is receiving positive energy and exhale and again inhale and what you're saying is come into me come and give me power give me strength positive clear energy and exhale and help me gather my thoughts inhale and exhale placing your hand on the heart and the hand on the belly just say inside your head i am strong i am calm I am at one. Strength and calmness go together. Strength is not a weakness. Calmness is not a weakness. It's a strength. So breathe in. I am strong. I am calm. I am at one. And at one means at one with your thoughts, at one with where you are at this present moment, but also with those around you. Just hold that thought for a moment. Strength, calmness, oneness. Okay, and shake it out. Okay, so the end of the day. We're coming to the end of the day. This can be done even when just you're sitting and relaxing. It doesn't necessarily have to be you know when you're actually going to sleep but actually i think personally i would do that for me um, is start the process when i'm just starting to relax so i might be sitting with my family i might be you know just talking quietly i think i might surreptitiously just decide to start my process my evening process if you like so just having a look at the good night um oh, here we go it's very exciting how's it going to smell Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so that is not what you're going to expect. I'm not going to say anything. But that is not what you expect, and it's wonderful. So for me, that smells like the wood again, like we're rooting and we're back to the wood. But it also smells like moss. Oh, gosh. So, mm, so I'm going to just put it on the temples just here. Because I want to be able to smell it, but not be too overpowering. Yeah, it is lovely. And the other place is just here. This is your thyroid gland. There's that little sort of dip here. So the thyroid is to do with um, the balance of, obviously, uh, thyroxine. But it's also about moods. So I'm just going to put it there. Gosh, that's gorgeous. So if I think about the wood and the forest, and the moss, I immediately want to lie down. It's obvious. So I'm going to. So I'm just going to move this slightly. Okay, look, how you lie down is really important. They don't just lie down. Just lie down with a lot of care and conscious thought. Pointing your toes. Imagine somebody's actually holding your toes down. And raise your arms to shoulder height. You're going to tuck your pelvis under, drop your chin, 
to your chest and immediately you'll be able to smell what you've just put there as well. I'm just going to go a little bit further and lower yourself. Now put your hands like this if you need to, to come down to the floor. Now once you're on the floor you need to separate your feet almost mat width apart, turn the palms up towards the sky and let your feet just flop open. So watch out that you're not holding tension around here and you'll notice because your feet will turn in so you just need to flop them out. <sighs> you're going to tilt the chin slightly in and if you've got your little thing to hand I think I, I need to have another. Oh, it's lovely, this is. This is just like, mm, it's like a forest. Oh, it's lovely. And the moss. Okay. So we're going to breathe in through the belly. So imagine breathing in through the nose, taking the breath all the way down to the belly, and the belly rising like a balloon as you breathe in. So breathe in. Tummy rising. And as you exhale, the hands will drop as you let the breath go out through the nose. Let your shoulders drop. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. The key to this is every time you breathe out, imagine melting, melting, melting. Now you, you might be on the floor, you might be on a yoga mat like this, you might actually be in bed. Wherever you're lying flat, wherever you can get some peace and quiet while you do this, before bed or just before when you're in bed, or any time of the day really, you could use this technique. What I want you to imagine is that you're melting into the mat and then you're melting into the earth itself and how beautifully is moss it's soft and it's supportive and you can sink into it and it breathes and it has this wonderful smell because moss is such an important part of just our nature and our environment make sure your elbows are away from the body they're not all scrunched up like this take them away so they can rest so your shoulders can relax and rest Keep your chin slightly tucked in, your eyes are closed, and I want you to imagine you're breathing in fresh forest air through the nose. And as you breathe out, you're allowing any tension to leave the body, any worries, anything that you've accumulated during the day. Now you can do this for as long as you want and quite often you will drift into a very deep sense of relaxation and possibly sleep. It will depend completely on you and of course it doesn't happen overnight. Practice is really important. Now I need to get up because I will go to sleep otherwise. So to get up you bend your knees wherever you are whether in the bed or on the floor and to lift your hips and roll over onto your side. Now, if you've got low blood pressure, please roll onto your left side and this will just stimulate your heart a little bit. If you've got normal blood pressure, just roll onto your right. So you just curl up before you come to a sitting position. Oh, I can get sleep. It's lovely. So I've had my lovely moss sleep. Okay, now our last two are quite different and I think it should be used at any time that you feel like it. So we're going to go to woman's well-being. Can you smell this? Oh, this is this is exactly what you would expect. So I'm assuming there's a lot of geranium in there, which is as soon as you smell geranium. Well, you know, you, you want to be somewhere warm, don't you? You want to be somewhere that's got positive energy, somewhere that's a bit adventurous. So as a woman, sometimes we are in jobs and roles that don't feel like it's really us. So I think a smell like this, you'll recognise it as soon as you, you open it up. It'll just take you, you know, lavender, Provence, Greek islands, 
you know, if you want to do a Shirley Valentine, this is the kind of smell that you want. It's perfect. So use that whenever you want to use it, whether it's a daytime, evening, you know, on holiday, on a bus. It, it doesn't matter because as soon as you smell it, you'll, you'll be transported. And, and as women, I think that's a very good thing, is to feel transported, uplifted, enlightened, um, energised, adventurous. Amazing really, isn't it? These essential oils are ancient. They didn't happen yesterday, they didn't happen today. These have been used for centuries. The Egyptians, the Greeks, they used these for exactly the same types of needs that we're using now. So you are with a lot of very interesting ancestors as well. You'll be drawn, you'll actually feel it. Okay, the last and most important, especially in the environment that we're here, you know, in, in our hospice, comforting people, being comforted, it's probably the most important of all of these. So, going on my journey. Gosh, that's really interesting. Mm. I'll be honest, that smells like all of these. It almost smells like all of these in one. And just the word comfort, you know, as soon as we read loved, I just love that. When I saw that product, and people will know how I reacted, I just went, oh. I literally did that. It's, it's such a physical feeling. It's such an emotional feeling. Oh, loved. I was talking to one of my children and I was talking about how important it is to feel loved. And one of them said, Mummy, don't you think it's just as important to know that you love others? She's an adult. She's a young adult. She's about to have her second baby. I thought, I felt like I'd... My, you know, my eyes had opened. I went, of course. She said, isn't that the focus though? To know that you love people. You learn a lot from your children. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And I, you know what? I couldn't really describe it because comfort is different. It's different to me. It's different to you. It's different for everybody. But the movement that goes with comfort, I think, is firstly is to say the word love. Loved and really feel it in your body, loved. But this is also comfort. Wrap your arm around your shoulder. Wrap the other arm around your other shoulder. Allow your back to drop. I'm going to do it from the side as well so you can see. And you're going to sit comfortably. You might be sitting on a chair. I sit comfortably like this, but it probably wasn't comfortable for everybody. So just sitting on a chair sitting on the side of the bed, sitting on the sofa when you're alone, sitting somewhere quiet, in a park, in a garden, in a forest, it doesn't matter where you are. You can hug a tree, you can hug yourself. So just wrapping your arms around your shoulders. So you're going to, as much as you can, you know, we're all going to be different sizes, but it just needs to feel comfortable. And you're just going to let your back drop here and your chin come to your chest. And then you're just going to make a circle, small circles. Imagine that you're drawing a circle with the top of your head on the, in the sky. And you're going to breathe in and you're going to breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. We're just going to do four circles in one direction and then sit. And then you're going to do it in the opposite direction. So you're going to drop your head and go in the opposite direction. So this time, just breathing in. Breathing in. You can change direction if it feels right. Just small circular movements. Let your shoulders drop. 
And as you curl, uncurl, I want you to imagine the fronds of a fern. You know when they're really, really tight like this? And as you come up, imagine the fronds of the fern just opening up with your body as well. Now lean back into your hands so your palms are on the floor behind you and just let yourself relax, totally relax. So if you're on a chair, you can just hold the back of the chair. You can do whatever feels right for you. This is not a script that you have to follow. It's just some ideas for you. But just to relax back, gently stretch your legs out, give them a really good shake. So if you're on a chair, you can still do the same thing. Get those ankles moving. That's great. Oh, what a nice big stretch. Okay. So, grounding, focus, calm, good night. That's your whole day. Little areas that you can work through your day. And then, of course, we have woman's well-being, you can use any time that you need it, and but comfort, bathe yourself in comfort. Thank you, and I hope that you feel loved.